It's the first impressions of the Ordinary Serum Foundation and the Ordinary Concealer. If you want to see how these look on my face, then please keep watching. Hi guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Hope everybody's feeling very, very well. Today we're going to look at the brand The Ordinary. So I picked up the Ordinary Serum Foundation and I also picked up the Ordinary Concealer. So let's start with the uh, foundation first. I'll just give you some details that I'm reading from my phone. So it is a lightweight natural coverage liquid foundation. There's 21 shades to choose from, ranging from very fair to very deep. It's a serum foundation with an SPF of 15 and it's suitable for all skin tones. Um, with a weightless feel, this smooth foundation creates a semi-matte finish. The skims over lines, imperfections for a flawless day look, offering SPF 15 sun protection. This natural foundation is an everyday essential. What I especially like about this, they also do a range of undertones. So they do uh, P shades, that's for pink undertones, R for red undertones. N is for neutral undertones, Y is for yellow undertones. So I got the shade 2.0 N, uh, that is light to medium and it is the neutral. So all I've done to my face, pop some moisturiser on. I will use a primer. I use this as a primer. This is the Stila One Step Correction. There's lots of different colours in there that will correct any imperfections that you may have on your face. So I kind of suffer with like red areas just kind of here. So I just normally pop a couple of blobs on. I do like this and quite often I would just use this without anything on top because it really does do a good job of blowing down any uneven skin tones and it also leaves a nice glowy finish on your skin. And I tend to be using this quite a lot throughout lockdown because if I'm not going anywhere there doesn't seem to be any point putting makeup on. I put makeup on if I'm kind of viewing something but apart from that there's just no point. So this is nice, it blends in lovely. So I like this a lot, but I think it's around about 24, 25 pounds. Look at the directions. Basically you have to give it a really good shake. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm gonna apply it one half with a brush and the other half with a beauty blender and see which I like best. Very, very watery. Seems like a nice good color shade for me though. So let's just blob. Okay, so it does seem to be blending in quite well into the skin. I maybe could have done with maybe the next shade up, but it would be fine with some bronzer over the top of it. Very um, lightweight. I quite like that. It does um, cover up pretty much well on things I don't like on my skin, particularly this red area here. Um, there's no brush strokes that I can see using this brush. This is the Real Techniques Weapon Blush, by the way, in case anybody wants to know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's, it, yeah, I can definitely tell the difference between this side and this side. It doesn't look cakey. I've got a, like, a scratch or something here that's quite red. It hasn't quite managed to cover that up, but I will pop a bit of concealer on there. Um, yeah, I quite like that. I like the finish. It's not sticky. Mmm, I really like that actually. Keep in mind this foundation was like five pound. Side now and I'm gonna try the beauty blender. I just need a little bit more, so let's reshake it. So I'm just using a Jeffree Star beauty blender and it's damp. It's so easy to blend in. I mean, it does it within seconds. It's fantastic. I think I'm going to be honest. I actually like the finish more on the Beauty Blender. I don't like heavy foundations. I sway more to the lightweight, to the BB, CC creams, that kind of thing. 
Um, my pores seem okay. It's not highlighting anything. I mean, it kind of evens your face out without leaving a heavy, cakey foundation. And if you didn't know better, people would look at your skin, I feel, and think she's either got amazing skin or she's got a light foundation on. But I really do like that. I like the consistency. It's really nice. I showed you the bottle, did I? There you go. That's what it looks like. And you can get this um, like a full foundation as well. But that's not something that I really want to try. Because as I've just said, I'm not a girl that's into full foundation or full coverage. Definitely will finish this. Okay, so next we're going to look at concealer by The Ordinary. I've got the colour shade 1.1N. This is a fair neutral. I quite like my under eye to be quite bright, hence why I've got a lighter shade in this. Just some information. If you're as obsessed with The Ordinary Foundations as we are, then you're going to want to get your hands on their latest. Introducing you to The Ordinary Concealer, this high spreadability formula buffs and blends seamlessly onto the skin for high coverage that still looks natural. The real skin finish looks like your skin, but better. Whilst the formula resists settling into fine lines and on dry skin, find your perfect match. So I did have a look and there's 21 shades. They also do all the undertones that they do with the foundation as well. And it is also cruelty free, which is a plus. This was again round about £5 and a few pence, the same as the uh, foundation. And I, as I said, I got mine off Beauty Bay. And just looking there, there is quite a lot of shades that is out of stock. So that's the colour there. It's not too thick a formula. So let's have a look and see how good this looks. Okay, so with this, I tend to pop it in with my fingers. Just press nice and lightly. It's very brightening, actually. It blends out beautifully. I have quite a lot of um, red in the corner of my eyes for some reason. That happens on both eyes. And I have took this over on both eyelids. Which will probably need a little bit of a powder now. My Laura Mercier one. I'm also going to pop a little bit on top because I did put some on top of my eyelids as well. Just to take any stickiness away. Or oh, creasing. I love it. Blurs it out and makes you look seamlessly beautifully young. Or it can have the opposite effect and get cakey. And introduce lines there that you didn't even know you had yourself definite thumbs up from me i think they're absolutely brilliant and for the sake of 11 pounds absolutely worth it come on guys give them a go i'm just going to put some products on my face to see how well products do actually go on the top of this foundation so i'm going to start off by putting a little bit of um bronzer on this is by beauty pikes but the only one i really actually stick to and have used so let's just put a little bit on just to warm up my face a little bit because I do feel like I've probably got the wrong shade colour. It's okay. Bit of this on my eye like eyelids. Just give me a bit of warmth in my face. Why not? Okay, so there's no creasing even on my eyelids. I'm going to pop a little bit of my Ofra highlight, my favourite highlight for sure. Again, no issues with that going on. I haven't tried this before yet, so this is the Ofra pressed powder blush so let's have a go at this i purchased this when i bought the foundations from beauty bay this was 11 pounds it's only a mini i like minis because first of all it costs half the price and secondly if i don't like it i don't feel like 
I've wasted too much money. I think I went a bit mad with this, never mind. <sighs> I did, I did, I did. Okay. Like that as well, that's nice. So this is in the shade Blush Rose, by the way, if you want to try and pick it up, it's £11. But it is the mini size. I forgot to do, pop some blush on top of my forehead. That's much better. My face feels nice and warmed up now. So I'm just going to finish off now with some setting spray. This is the iconic London setting spray in the original colour. This is my favourite setting spray. I've got quite a few, but I always go back to that one. And then I tend to use my Beauty Blender and just push the product into my skin. And I think I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of uh, Jeffrey Star's lip gloss. And this is in the shade Wet Peach, I think. And again, I got that from Beauty Bay. Right, that's it then. That is my first impressions done of these two products. I totally recommend them. I really like them. I love the way that the rest of the uh, makeup went on the skin. Um, yeah, I just, I like it. I like it a lot. My only issue was, which is my fault, I feel like I ordered the wrong colour shade. But that is completely my fault. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Will you try this out? I've also got some skincare from The Ordinary coming. So I'm going to do um, a couple of bits of skincare. One is the face peel. So look out for that video if you're interested in seeing how that goes. Okay, that's it for now, my lovelies. If you haven't already entered the giveaway, make sure you do. Please subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of videos. It would be much appreciated. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, leave your comments down below of what you thought of this makeup. Okay, bye for now. Take care. Bye. Mwah. Bye.